What's up everybody, Belligerent here with another Dragon Air video, and we're going to talk about cooking today. Uh, I know that what everybody wants me to do probably is get into all the heroes and all the comps and stuff like that, and I'm going to get to that, but I'm just having fun exploring the game, learning new stuff, and honestly, I kind of like this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, life skill stuff in a... In a in an uh, MMO that I used to play, they were called life skills, so that's always kind of how I refer to them. But we're going to get into cooking. I think this is going to be pretty important in the game. Let me show you why. And, okay, so I don't know how plentiful the gathering will be. Uh, in the little bit of running I've round I've done, there doesn't seem to be a large amount of spots to gather and it does seem to take them a long time to regenerate. I have no idea what that time is, honestly. Um, but it does take them a long time to regenerate. Because I've come back after four or five hours and the gathering spots still haven't regenerated. Matter of fact, let me see. I did one. It's right over here. I want to see if there was... This was the one that I was kind of keeping my eye on. So we're going to go check that out. Because I, I, I get sidetracked in my videos sometimes. Um, yeah, see, these still haven't regenerated. So I don't know um, if they just regenerate once a day at reset. I don't know when the reset for this game is. Um, but I, okay, so I don't know how, like I said, how plentiful gathering will be. But let me show you why I think, uh, at least to a certain extent, uh, cooking may come into play outside of like it gives you and i'm going to show you all the different items uh, that i've found from cooking not all of these are from cooking but all these items um but so let me show you over here we can shop and look at this and i don't know if the price gets better here and the price gets better here i haven't leveled up this cart yet um but you see you can buy the summons right this is a precious die used to summon heroic souls. Uh, this is the this is the one you use to get legendaries, and you can buy it for at least here in the um in the beta we can buy one for fifty k gold. Okay, so what you can do if you do the cooking is you can come in here and let let's take a look at this this red candy. Apparently you can consume it, but it doesn't tell you what it does. I think it's one of those, it's going to have mixed results, but some love it so much that it drives me crazy, while others hate it with a burning passion. Some say they can hear the whispers of, de of the deity when they eat it. How will we know if we don't try it? So to me, from other games I've tried, this sounds like one of those things, you eat it and it's kind of an RNG result, okay? But it is a an epic item that you can get through cooking, and look, it sells for 3300 right? So I have 34 of them, right? If we sell them, it's... I got to sell... We have to sell 16 of them to get enough to buy one of those dragon die. So, again, I don't know yet how plentiful the gathering will be, but if we can find a way to gather large amounts of uh, goods... Then we can come in here, we can sell that, right? And then when, you know, especially just starting the game, we can come in here, we can buy one of those with exactly what we just bought. And now this one's sold out, so. Um, but that's that's just one thing I noticed, that we can sell that and then buy some of those. Um, I don't know how this cart works. I don't know if it ever resets. I don't know if, you know. These are the only ones we'll ever be able to get from free for free or if it resets daily. I don't know that yet. Okay. Anyways, let's jump in here. The basics of cooking. Okay. So essentially you're going to put and it says right here, select two to four ingredients to cook. Right. So we put two of them in there and it can be two of the same if you want. But you see um, this one is already showing me what I've, I'm going to get um, because I have that in my recipe book. Uh, but if we do here, here's a mystery one. Now, it only... So if we come here to the recipe book and we look at this, we can come in here and see that it only keeps the five most recent recipes that I've done. 
Okay. Once it's off of that list, it no longer maintains what the result is, which is kind of a shame because once you discover a recipe, you, if it's not one of the last five recipes you used for that, it's going to forget it and you might forget it as well. Um, luckily, I've been cataloging all of them. So what I've done is I've gone through and I have... This is not an exaggeration. I have literally run every single possible two item recipe combination there is. And we're, I'm going to show you all of the items that you can create by using only two items. I'm not going to show you all the recipes uh, before the game's official release. I will compile it somehow and, and kind of release those recipes. I hope to eventually do the threes and the fours, but we're talking over two million. So that sounds like a hopefully a community project because there's no way I'm doing two million recipes just by all by myself. Like that would take forever. Um, plus, you know, getting enough items to do it all would be an issue as well. So you take two items, you cook them, it's going to give you a target number for your dice roll. You're going to roll a dice. Remember, this is Dungeons and Dragons themed game. So it's going to give you a target like 15. I've seen 15, 8, and 5. I think there's a correlation somehow to the item that you're going to create or the items that you're using, the materials you're using, but I haven't found one. I haven't found a rule that is correct all the time so i'm not i can't give that to you uh, but if you see if we roll this it's probably going to be 15 is going to be our target if we hit below 15 we get a common result okay see we hit below 15 so we're going to get a common result so we get one when we get a common result okay um if we get above that target result which i believe if i use a couple of commons here it will be a much lower target. So let's see what it gives me here. So let's see my target is five. I roll over five. They call that perfect. And then I get double the result. Now, and I'm not going to try and do this during this video because it could take forever. But if you roll a 20, you get your two results. And then it's going to give you a third bonus. Now, that third bonus is going to be random. And it has nothing to do with the recipe that you put in there. So you're going to get your two results for getting the perfect roll. And then because you hit a 20, it's going to give you a random one. Okay. Uh, the only other thing to know about how that or about cooking is there are some combinations that just don't work. And you get um, basically burnt food. Okay. So some combinations, and I know this one, and I know this also has nothing to do with the dice roll, because if you watch here, watch the animation. I'm going to put something else in here. Watch the animation. You'll see how it cooks. We got the fire, and then the lid will pop off, and you see how it's kind of orange with the fire going. All right. That's how it normally looks when you get an item. When you do a recipe that doesn't work, okay, and this is not random. This is watch is going to blow up black smoke. See, so that's always going to come out overcooked food. And I wonder if it had something to do with dice roll, but it happens before the dice roll ever happens. And then you get this overcooked food, which is usable. It gives you max HP plus one percent. Okay, uh, so it's usable, but you know we'll we'll pinpoint the overcooked food recipes, and hopefully you can avoid that and avoid wasting your food. Okay. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically, um, cooking in a nutshell. Um, it's not that hard. Just learning all the recipes, finding out all the recipes will be tough. So let's look at, and as I've said, I've discovered every single, um, two item or I'm sorry. Yeah. Two material recipe, two item recipe that you can do. I went through every single, uh, combination possible have a spreadsheet of it all i have a spreadsheet with all of the possible combinations for threes and fours as well that's how i kind of know how many there are um now i'm not going to give you all of the recipes although as we go through and we talk about these items you'll be able to see at least one recipe for each right here 
Um, so yeah, let's talk about this. Uh, this is uh, the Flaming Chili Sauce. Okay, Flaming Chili Sauce. What it does is all ally heroes gain fire damage plus 3% for 600 seconds. Okay, so if you're running a fire comp team, that's going to be good for you. Arctic Cold Fish Gelatin. Uh, all ally heroes gain ice damage for 3 seconds. They're 3% 3 for six, 600 seconds. Okay, so these, and you can see here, uh, they have icons telling you what the buff actually is. So f all of these are going to be the same for the six different uh, classes or clans or um, affiliations, however uh, you want to reference it. But so fire, ice, uh, lightning, radiant, necrotic, and poison. So those six items... All right, so that's Arctic Coldfish, Formulated Scale Powder, Blessing Crystal, Tailbone Ointment, and Miasma Tonic. All right, so those are the six that affect the um, the elements, or the you know the elemental damage, I guess. All right, now we have this one, which is, and I'm gonna mispronounce a lot of this stuff, I'm sure, but Erusus, Ursus, Ursus, maybe Brandy. Um, this is, this increases your movement speed. So uh, this would be something that you would make and use to go running across the map would be my guess. Cause you're not really running when you're fighting. Okay. Uh, this is the red candy that you saw, uh, saw me sell earlier in this video. Uh, it really doesn't tell you what the effects are. All right. Then we have healing potion three. Okay. Uh, how are a powerful healing potion with wide range of healing results? I'm sure you can imagine what that does. Okay, then we have plain noodles. Uh, all ha all ally heroes gain max HP plus two percent. And then we have small jerky. All ally heroes gain attack plus two percent. Okay. Uh, salt baked fish. All ally heroes gain defense plus two percent. Fruit juice. All ally heroes gain accuracy plus five. Vegetable juice is the same thing. Fermented yogurt. Uh, resistance plus five. We have biscuit, which is uh, max HP plus four percent. What was the other HP? Oh, it was the plain noodles. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we have meatball. Ally or attack plus five. 4%. Fish soup, which is defense, plus 4%. Fruit plate, which is accuracy, plus 10. Okay. Mm, another accuracy, plus 10, which is vegetable salad. We have dried cheese, which is resistance, plus 10. Pasta bolognese, which is, it kind of gives you, this is stacking multiple effects, max HP, plus 4% and attack plus two percent for 600 seconds that feels like it might be kind of good fish cake so hp plus four percent defense plus two percent so these are kind of the same just offense or defense uh, oh and by the way when it comes to these you can only use one at a time you can't stack all of these during a fight so if you take one it will overwrite the other one uh so accuracy plus 10 and resistance plus five and then we have cake which is hp plus four percent resistance plus ten this is beast salad attack plus four percent accuracy plus ten percent fish and chips which is attack plus four percent and defense plus four percent and this is sandworm extract attack plus three percent Grilled shrimp, which is de defense plus 4%. So you see, you kind of starting to see some of the, the themes here. Like uh, seafood is defense. Um, cake apparently is health, stuff like that. Um, meat is attack. I think you, you start to see some of that. Uh, fruit is like accuracy. Fruit or vegetables are accuracy. And then we have health potions, okay? So those are all of the recipe all of the items possible to create um and this is health potion one health potion two. Oh no what is this soul 
colid. Oh, this is a new one. I didn't even know what this is. Okay, so colid white. Col I don't know how to say that. A gel from the, capable of replenishing soul vitality and underlying power. I don't know what that means. This is healing potion two. So healing potion two, healing potion one, and then up here is healing potion three. And then we have this one that I didn't even realize was something else. I'm going to have to update my sheet because I thought that was just healing potion one. Uh, but so those are all of the items that you can possibly create by just using two items and cooking. And I thought that this was important to cover, uh, not only just as an introductory to cooking and not only because we can sell it to the cart, but when the game first starts or when you first start the game, if you're watching this after the game has already been released, uh, you know, your a, your materials are going to be at a minimum, right? You're going to have to build up your stock over, you know, over time, I'm assuming. And so knowing the, the recipes that take the least amount of materials is very beneficial. And then two, knowing, um, or at least planning, you know, knowing what you want to make is also going to help you save materials. So this I thought was going to be very important for people just getting started in the game, which will be everybody uh, when the game finally releases. And then, you know, this will carry on after that, assuming that none of this changes after <laughs> after this uh, this beta access. So let, let's hope that stuff stays the same. Um, but yeah, that's that's overview of cooking. And again, all of the items that you can make uh, with two item recipes. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. I'm belligerent. Peace.